Hello beautiful spirits, how are you today? Welcome to the channel, my name is Donna. This is Irish Donna Tarot. Let's jump into this love reading, it's quite something. I like it. So Cancer, endless possibilities are yours in your love life at this time. We have ears wide open, listen to what people are saying to you because we have some smoke and mirrors. So somebody is coming towards you at this time that is really not giving you the whole truth and nothing but the truth. The overall energy, Cancer, this is your energy, the High Priestess card. Intuitively, you absolutely know what the issues of this relationship are. It does look as though you instinctively think that you have competition. Okay, we get that energy. It's low-level fighting, arguing, egocentric kinds of energy that, you know, they don't have to be serious, but the fact that it's here is something you need to pay attention to. We get the energy in the recent past between you and your beloved of the Empress and the Twin Flame card. This is the only card in all of my decks that actually is the number 22, the Naked Heart Tarot. This is 1111 Twin Flame, Empress Energy, very powerful, loving, inviting, just almost all-consuming energy between you and your person. When we look at where you're at right now with this person, you may not be speaking to them. We get the energy between the two of you of a long history together. We, you know, I really see that there is an energy between the two of you that speaks to the fact that a commitment would be a wise idea, but I don't see the two of you. It looks like you're both on the outs with each other. You both feel locked in the cold or locked out of this relationship. We get the energy that says that your person wants to move forward, rush very quickly towards you and make an investment, something that they can be, a, you know, feel good about, something they can be proud of. And so we have the uh, Sagittarius energy, we have Virgo energy, we have Taurus energy, uh, we have Taurus energy again. Um, but when we get the Seven of Coins, that is also the energy of Taurus. So there's a lot of Taurus energy here, a lot of Earth sign energy. So we're looking at the overall right now, and then I'm going to clarify in detail a, a greater amount here. We have the World card. Your person sees you as the end-all, be-all cancer. They see you as, you know, being larger than life in many ways. They see you as having, they feel as though you're just disgusted with them, that you have just absolutely had enough, that whatever they've done in this energy right here, the Five of Swords, it looks as though you think that they sabotage the relationship. The Five of Swords is somebody who's, you know, who's who draws blood. The conflict is pretty darn serious. With the Five of Coins feeling left in the cold, it really speaks to the fact that, you know, your person may have told you that they were off searching for marriage and yet you're not the one because we get marriage here we get marriage here we get marriage here look at that that's crazy so it shows that marriage is on your person's mind a great deal and yet what i see in this energy is that they weren't fair to you they didn't give you a fair shot and yet you're the empress in twin flame like how could they make that decision how could they make such a big mistake the tower card speaks to the fact that the foundation of the relationship has been shattered that everything has fallen down that whatever it is that you had built before your person has created a very destructive flash of a tower moment um, but we get the Heart of Pentacles, so we get this Daddy card here, Taurus energy again. Your person feels as though they need to rebuild the foundation, that if this can go anywhere, they're going to have to be the one to do the work. Now we get this interesting energy that's hidden between the two of you. The Ace of Coins is an offer coming in. The Page of Coins is a small offer coming in. So both of you, one, one of you wants a big offer. The other wants to sort of slip in the side door and say, you know, oh, I'm sorry. You know, I see that I did something bad and I'm here to rebuild it. They don't want to overpromise. 
Yeah, take it as it resonates, you know. They should overpromise and try to deliver because you've had this five of wands energy. So you have three fives here, and fives are always conflict. But they're very important because they propel you forward into the sixes, which is what gives you stability, and, and you start to get what you want with that energy. So Spirit is recommending the Page of Swords here. Uh, you know, Page of Swords, really think about why this person was a player. Consider the fact that this player may always be a player. The Movement of Wands, you know, we love the very dashing, handsome Knight of Wands and Knight of Cups. We love all the Knights. They're very dashing. They're at the prime of their masculine energy. But this this person, you know, while you're studying the situation, they're just kind of running off in this direction. So Spirit is giving you a warning that they could still have a lot of player energy or, or expectations. The outcome, look at this, the Four of Wands energy, 11, 11, 11, 11, bookending this reading. The Four of Cups says that both of you are feeling sad and lonely without each other, very bored without each other. Um, but we see this card of stability coming back in. So let's look at the clarifiers and see if we can't get more information about how and when and all of this will unfold for you. Because we have somebody who wants to make it right, but we don't know if they're in the right headspace. So let's look and see why is the Empress here with the Twin Flame card? What does that tell us about the past? Your person saw you as larger than life, the Empress. They felt as though you were the one. Six of Coins, equal give and take in the relationship, was one of the issues that they had with it. They felt as though, or your person's accustomed to being the one who always gives. And I feel as though they saw you as someone that they didn't have to do that with which is helpful right up until it isn't because if you deserve to receive from this person then you should be the one to receive the emperor should always have that respect whereas this person may not be giving you that because you are an empress which is sort of what do they say ass backwards <laughs> But the Wheel of Fortune says that your person is recognizing that it is time to step up. It's time to step up and step into a much more serious energy. The coins here, the Ten of Coins, is a legacy relationship in which it is a marriage, typically. It's a family. It's a dog. It's a beautiful home. It's two self-made people. And what I'm getting here is that your person has big concerns about money. Again, with the six of coins, the five of coins tells me that they don't want to be the only one to bring abundance into the relationship. As you can see, the woman here and the man, you know, they have a little role reversal going on. So we see this devil energy. Your person is obsessed with what a partner can bring to the table monetarily, okay? Not my favorite energy at all. The devil's always toxic, always trying to control whatever's being said or done. The Six of Cups does say that they want to have a reunion with you. And, you know, it's very, very powerful energy. The Six of Cups is wanting to grow old with somebody. But money is a, a thing in this person's life. So we get the Eight of Swords. We get this person in the energy of... Uh, Gemini energy. They're not really moving forward at this time. We see your person hesitating. We see your person trying to manifest you. We see your person being very secretive, maybe driving by your house at night, you know, trying to figure out what you're up to. But the moon card, what about the moon card? This person really wants to make love all night long. They want to howl at the moon, if you will, my friends, howl at the moon. So why are they just being so fearful spirit of wands Ooh, they were pretty bold with you before they really said some things to you that they probably shouldn't have said but we do see your person getting their courage back with the ace of wands good they do see you as the rock star i don't know why i'm holding this up to a camera that doesn't exist but they see you as a rock star and someone that needs to heal from what they did so when we get this Eight of Cups, they had walked away from you before. Now they are recognizing your beauty, your strength, your inner core. The star card is Aquarius energy, the enlightenment. 
So your person is sort of getting a grip on the fact that they didn't really assess you or look at you in a way that was reflective of who you really are, Cancer. So what else is the reason that they want to go to the next level with you? What has changed things here? The Strength card. Oh, good. The Strength card is, you know, really understanding that you can do something. It's the courage, the strength. We have the infinity symbol. You know, you've probably known this person through your whole source energy incarnation on Earth. And there is a recognition here. The Two of Wands, that they have to make an absolute decision to step forward towards you. The Five of Swords is here. The Ten of Cups is here. What they want is happily ever after, but they have this Five of Swords energy. What is that about? The Heart of Wands, Queen of Wands energy. So there is a part of them that sort of has like a, a spirit of not wanting to ever have to be really faithful or responsible. They feel like, you know, the Rod, is it the Rod Stewart song, Do You Think I'm Sexy? This person has a really overrated view, but it comes from a place of insecurity. The Nine of Swords says that they overcompensate in some way because they're insecure. The Fool card says that they want that new beginning with you. They want to step in, but you see, we still have Five of Swords energy. So now we have it again, the Five of Swords clarifying the Five of Swords. So this person has a lot of work to do. See the Ten of Swords. I mean, they're just, your person is not necessarily, you know, in a good spot to rebuild this tower. I mean, I would just say that, you know, they're really in this energy of maybe even repeating a cycle with you. So I would be very cautious. Twin flame relationships can be tricky, but at no point should you ever take anything that could be construed emotionally or in any other way a burden or abuse of any sort we see your person giving up the burden we see them giving up this sort of fight that's going on um, i like the energy of the ten of wands it speaks to them dropping their burdens the burdens of the things that they do with other people with relationships the Ten of Coins, stability, good, good, good. So we do have your person feeling as though they have enough money for both of you. And if they're going to rebuild that tower with you, if they're going to rebuild that, that, that what we get is a Nine of Wands. They need to have fire in their belly. Now, this person doesn't have a lot of fire in their belly. They always seem to come short you know, when it comes to this, but we do get them learning new skills, eight of coins, learning new skills, leveling up, getting to a more masterful place. You know, you can't get to the 10 of coins until you go through the, the seven, eight, nine, right? So we get this eight of coins, which is mastery. I also really like this energy that the both of you are bringing to the table of, you know, the ace of coins, make an offer, take a chance. You know, let's see. Yeah. Oh, I was just wondering if that card would come out because we have the eight of coins, we have the nine of coins, and then we get the ace of coins and the page of coins. We get into the legacy marriage because that's what this card is. The ten of coins is a legacy marriage. It's the abundant marriage. And we have ten of coins, ten of coins. So your person's very, very much bent on the two of you living the good life. And whoever they are going to be with is going to have to meet that criteria and you know we can complain about it or say that's not really the value they should have everybody has a right to their own set of core values we can't change that but i see both of you in a powerful energy of coming together we see the innocence of wands going from player energy into a sweeter, kinder, more playful. Let's have some fun. I haven't seen you. Give me a big hug. You know, my God, it's so good to put my eyes on you. You look great. You know, it's it's really nice energy. So why do we have the four of cups here with this four of wands? The tower card, see? So it does look like when your person comes back, they've rebuilt some of the foundation, but they're not there yet. Because when we get the tower card twice, they could, they will either get married and divorced. For some of you, okay, and this is a different storyline. For some of you, this person may have disappeared suddenly, gone off, married somebody else, and had it completely fall apart because the reading tells us that they're not in the right place to meet your empress energy. 
they're just not and so what i'm seeing here is a possibility that they could have married somebody for money or married somebody for legacy or married the wrong person and they end up you know married divorced you know and then married divorced but we don't want this to be you so let's see the spirit of pentacles okay spirit of pentacles energy that is a daddy card that's being very nurturing so your person wants to build that foundation pentacles are very powerful the ten of pentacles is um, the spirit of pentacles is tor taurus energy but the universe they want to level up with you the world card the world card so they definitely want to um, choose you you know twin flame 11 11 we had the twin flame card up here with that naked heart so that is the energy that i have cancer let me look and see what we have for the five of wands ah the ace of coins again ace of coins twice all right so i'm gonna leave it there cancer you have to be very careful with this person you really do they are they look like they're a mess and they look like they've created a lot of messes along the way um, do I think they love you? Absolutely. But money, money, money is super important to them. So make sure when you check your value system that you're going to be able to withstand that aspect of what's going to happen in your love relationship with them. So I am going to uh, ask that you leave a comment below. Tell me what you think of the reading. Uh, feedback. I answer all the comments, you know, maybe not the same day, but soon afterwards. And sending you love from Chicago. Send some back and tell me where you're from. Thanks so much. Bye-bye. Hope to see you again soon.